if you're like me, you find it really frustrating to find tickets in Jira. There can be hundreds of thousands of them, you don't know how they're organized, and they all have different statuses and projects and information. This makes it really hard for almost anyone to go in and pull out just the tickets they need. Fortunately, Jira Search and JQL, Jira Query Language, is a pretty powerful way to do that, but even that can be challenging to use. This video is going to cover a trick that I use to quickly find tickets in a certain type of status, for example, done, or exclude tickets in that type of status. It's something called status category. Let's pop into Jira and I'll show you how it works. Here I have a demo instance. And in this example, I'm going to use this ticket, PROC 110. I'm going to go into its workflow and just see what statuses it could have. Now this ticket could have one of several statuses, but what I'm interested in are the green ones. And these are statuses that indicate the ticket is completed or done or nothing else needs to happen to it. Common statuses in this category include done or completed or canceled, but in this case I have rejected and purchased. Now unless I happen to know that those are the statuses that this project uses to indicate a ticket is completed, I'll have trouble including or excluding tickets in those statuses. I'll have to go to the workflow or talk to someone who knows the project and tickets to get that knowledge. And this can make it really hard, especially for someone who's new to your instance or your copy of Jira, to find tickets or to exclude them. It makes it even harder if you're dealing with multiple projects that don't have the same workflow. For example, if you have multiple engineering teams that have different completed statuses, you're going to have to go and look at each one to see what they are. The same is true for in-progress statuses, so in review or accepted, and then these to-do statuses, commonly requested or to-do or open. So if I were to search for tickets in this project that had a completed status, one way I could do it would be to type in project equals proc and status in a list of those statuses, rejected and purchased. And this will bring back a list of every ticket that has either one of those two statuses. Now this is a simple example, but imagine if I had a dozen different statuses. I'd have to remember to type them in every time or copy and paste them. Or I might miss something. And then I get frustrated because I don't get what I need. So instead of using the status field, I'm going to use something called status category. And we'll see my autocomplete brings it into the second option here. Instead of looking for just a particular status, purchased or rejected, it looks for any ticket in a group of statuses. My to-do statuses are the gray ones, in progress are blue, and my green ones are done. Now these statuses are put into these categories when the workflow is created. So when my Jira admin creates them, they'll select what type it is. So if I just add an equals, I have three options essentially. I'll look for done and hit enter. And this will go through and it's essentially the same as what I just had, except I don't have to know what all of these status categories are. This is essentially the same as what I just did, but the big difference is I don't have to know what every done status is in this project. Jira will just go and find them for me. Alternatively, I might look for anything in progress. This is very useful for me when I'm trying to track down work or see what my teams are up to, and I don't want to have to be bothered to type out every possible in progress status. Another one that's very useful is to do. And this one shows me any ticket that hasn't been actioned yet or is at the start of its workflow. So status category is a great way to figure out what group of statuses is something in. Now there is one more field similar to status category and that's status category change date. This will t let me query for any ticket where its category shifted, maybe from in progress to done, or from done to to do, or any combination thereof. This helps me track how tickets move through the workflow without having to know the name of every single possible status. So now that we understand status category, let's quickly jump into how a status category is determined. How does Jira know which one of these buckets a ticket falls into? I'm a project admin, so I'm going to open up my project settings, and I'm going to go to workflows. This is a company managed project, which is different than team managed, but you'll have a similar option regardless of which type you have. I'm going to go and edit the only workflow I have. And we'll see here visually, it looks identical to when I click on view workflow from the ticket. 
I've got some to-do statuses, the gray ones, one that's in progress, and a done status. I'm going to add a new status, and maybe I'll just go for approved and click add. Now my new status exists, and if I click edit, I'll see its category listed right here. So this is where the project admin determines which category does this status fall into. Hopefully, the name of the status kind of makes sense. Approved should probably be done. It probably shouldn't be in progress. Sometimes there can be mistakes, so be on the lookout. But this is how the category is determined for each status in Jira. And this is what makes the status category search so powerful. I haven't completely stopped using individually named statuses when I look for tickets, but I use that status category trick a lot. Almost all of my queries leverage it because I'm typically looking for tickets in those groupings. I need to find everything done in the past two weeks because there was a sprint. And I'll look at the in-progress work later, so I can just use status category. The status category change from date is also very useful because it can help me track when work is moving through those workflows at a higher level. So I tend to use it when I have a lot more tickets or a lot more projects or a lot more teams that I have to work with. So give it a shot. Start playing around with status category. See how it can help you improve your queries. Again, I use it almost all the time. It's second nature for me. And especially with that autocomplete, it's very quick and easy to type in status category and pick to do, in progress, or done. All right. Thank you so much for sitting through this video on status category. I think it's a really useful tool, but I want to know what you think. Drop something in the comments with how you use Jira or Jira search to find what you need, or even drop your frustrations or requests for help, and I'll be happy to address them. And of course, if you like this, please click the like button, subscribe, and share it with other folks you know. Thanks again for dropping in, and I'm looking forward to seeing you in another one of these videos soon. <laughs>